All right. I always say that. I guess that's my thing. Maybe I'll just make an intro for my videos that is just a big, colorful, all right. It'll come in and you just see this big thing saying, all right. And then I'll do a voiceover of me saying, all right. And then it'll cut to me and I'll be like, all right. <laughs> Anyhow. Good morning. It's, uh, what day is it, Bailey? Saturday? What's the date? November 29th, I that. Um, it's early, fairly early, not super early, and it's cold. Uh, we're on our way to take the uh, truck to the truck wash. Hopefully they're open. They're usually open Saturdays, so um, I imagine this one shouldn't be any different, so we're going to take the truck to the truck wash. Um, I cleaned up the inside a bunch yesterday. <laughs> it's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, so we're going to take it to the truck wash, have the outside cleaned up so it's all purdy, and then go park it back at the yard, and then have if he come pick me up, I guess pick us up, maybe I'll leave her in the truck, maybe she'll just pick me up, we'll see, um, and that should be it, so, <clears throat> other than that, I don't know that anything is going on, we went and drove around yesterday, I was going to take the camera, but we were in my pickup, and I didn't want to take the, uh, ugh, mount off the windshield in here, um, but we went out to Loves, which is like 20 miles away, got a red airline, I think I said I was going to do that, the red airline for the back. Um, where did we go after Loves, Bailey? We went to Oh, we went to AutoZone. Yeah, we went to AutoZone. Got some power steering fluid for this fella. Um, and windshield wipers for my pickup. And then from there we went we went out to sushi. Uh, it was just Bailey and I. So we went and had some sushi. That was nice. And then from there we went to Harbor Freight and got some smoke tarps and some tools for the truck. Um, and then from there we went to Learning Palace those little Miss Smarty Pants over here wanted a, uh, a workbook, so we got her a, uh, got her a workbook, and then we went home, so that was our, uh, our adventures for yesterday. I also got, while we were at Love's, I got that red airline, and then I got a, uh, yeah, a Christmas present for the boy, the older boy, um, he's been wanting a toy semi-truck for, I don't know, he has, I got him a toy car, car hauler when I was uh, driving a car hauler, and it's really small, it holds like Matchbox cars on the back, Hot Wheels, whatever, um, so that's that's the size it is, they're, they're appropriately sized, the, the Hot Wheels look right on the trailer, um, but, you know, Loves has a uh, much bigger much bigger ones, so I got him one of those, he's been wanting a flatbed, um, so I found one that had, uh, had a semi, realistic I suppose, flatbed, it's a spread axle like I pull, and then, uh, the only problem with it is the tractor's a Volvo, they didn't have any Cascadias or, uh, uh, it's at least Pisco inside of the highway, that Anyways, uh, they didn't have any um, freight liners that were uh, highway trucks. They were all day cabs and whatnot. So I wanted to get you know a highway truck that was pulling a flatbed. And uh, really, my option was the Volvo. Um, it's got a spread axle with like a load of pipe on it. So. 
got him that that's stashed away for Christmas time probably, so hopefully he doesn't uh, watch this video. I don't see how he would unless somebody showed it to him, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, otherwise I'll have to keep it and play with it myself, since I'll know what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what today's going to hold for us. Uh, like I said, for now we're just taking the truck to get it washed and then, uh, then going to park it back at the yard. So. We will see, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything that they were talking about the other day. I don't know, it's the, having so many days off, they all kind of play together. I feel like I should be back at work today because I've been off for two days already. But it's just the start of the weekend, it's Saturday morning, so we still got the whole weekend ahead of us. So, who knows? We'll see what happens. Uh, for now, we're just gonna, gonna keep calm and drive on. Bailey's cold. She put on one of my warm shirts and she's still cold. They're washing the truck right now if you can't hear. Washing the truck, like steam cleaning the engine. Getting us all taken care of. It is cold. Sitting here, you know, with the truck off. Uh, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold out. I wonder what the temperature is today. Let me look. I'll tell you. I know there's going to be plenty of people that are like, that's not cold. Well, whatever, it's cold. It's 39. It's cold. I'm cold. She's cold. It's cold. I was, you know, we don't live too far from the yard, and this truck wash is, like, right next to our yard. Um, I was hoping that the drive here, it would get nice and toasty warm in here, because I knew we'd be sitting here for a little while with the truck off, so if we got it nice and warm inside on the drive, then it'd stay warm for sitting here, but it's such a short drive that it never really got warm in here, so it's like going out to your cold car in the morning, and it just stays cold, <laughs> and then you just sit in it for a while, so anyhow, it's cold. We're getting the truck washed though. I'll uh, once once I'm all done here and go park it, I'll maybe take the camera out and kind of just walk around it. And I don't think I've actually like shown you the truck yet, so take a gander at it or something. So I'm gonna call my wife to come get me once we're done here. So we're gonna have 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I don't know how long it'll take her to leave the house um, before she gets here. So I'll have time to do that, I'm sure. So. So yeah, we're just sitting here for now. So, that's her. Usually, um, you're connected to that mount right there by the edge of the windshield pointing at me inside, but not today. Um, yeah. I backed up to my trailer, but didn't hook up obviously. Um, so yeah, she's all clean now, fresh out of the truck wash. I haven't seen her this clean since right after I bought it. This is the first time I've, uh, first time I've taken it to a truck wash. So my crap on the back, chains and binders and tarp straps and whatnot, uh, corner protector things right there. Protect box, got some smoke tarps in there and just some crap, basically. Uh, Protect, obviously, headache rack with my chains and binders and whatnot. Um, really, I don't know what to say about it. It's uh, <laughs> it's a 2010 Cascadia um, Detroit DD15 engine. Um, I've got a. Uh, my CB antenna there, I took the antenna off from up behind the door because the stock stuff's supposed to suck. Um, and I added this antenna right here, it's just a fire stick. Um, and um, I have a really good CB, it's actually a 10 meter radio or whatever. Uh, they don't make them anymore. but. I can't get it to work right, so I need to stop at a CB shop and have it, uh, have the antenna tuned or something. 
Uh, there's a big puddle, <laughs> and I'm wearing flip flops. Stepped in a hole. <laughs> so there's the front. I got a brand new grill on the front because uh, another truck rolled back into me. Um, I don't think I was recording yet back then. Go around the puddles, dork. My daughter's following me around, walking in the puddles with her shoes on. So anyways, uh, yeah, me and another truck were both tarping at a place we were picking up. And uh, I, the tarping area, you kind of are all single file. So I was behind him. He got done tarping and got in his truck to leave and just rolled backwards right into the front. His trailer <laughs> rolled right into my grill and kind of caved the grill in. So his company put a brand new grill on it for me. So that grill's brand new. Uh, satellite, radio, antenna. That's really all there is to it. I think this this and the stock antenna on this side is, uh, from what I've read, it's like TV, um, radio, weather, like it's everything else that you would have an antenna for, um, kind of combined into that one antenna. So, I don't know. So I left that one up there. Um, I had another, I have another coax that's for dual antennas for my CB, and I had another CB antenna over on this side next to the uh, satellite radio one, but um, until I get it working, I want to keep it simple. Um, and everything I've read says, you know, unless you've got a big power amp, like doing crazy crap, you don't need dual antennas, you don't need any of that. All you need is, uh, you know, one fire stick. Should be plenty good enough. I was just looking to see if there's something on my tire. I don't know what I drove in, but, um, so anyways, this is the passenger side, obviously, got my tire chain hanging, I need to get new rubber things to go there, it hasn't had them since I bought the truck, so, that's my truck, that's my daughter, <laughs> and, uh, I called my wife to come get us, and she said, okay, but it's going to be a while, because she's feeding the baby. The baby's got to eat, so you got to let her finish feeding the baby, and uh, whatnot. Then she'll come down. It's like a 15-minute drive once she leaves, but sounds like it's going to be a bit before she leaves, so um, yeah. <laughs> So it's cold, and we might be sitting here for a little bit. It's a lot colder standing out here than sitting in the truck, huh? So, uh, maybe we'll get back in and I'll, uh, <laughs> idle the truck or turn on the bunk heater. Actually, the bunk heater might be better. Because uh, idling it, the more I idle it, the sooner I have to do a, a regen. And I hate doing those stupid, sorry, I hate doing those stupid regens. Oh, is that all we so, have Yeah. So, if I idle it, then, like I said, that's sooner that I'll have to do a regen, and I don't want to have to do any stupid regens. I have to do them either way, but the, the farther out I can space them, the better. So, but the bunk heater, let's see. Bunk heater heats it up in here fast when I'm sleeping in here anyways, so... No reason to believe it wouldn't heat it up fast now. I my toes. I can't feel my toes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Anyhow, um, what did I do with my remote thing? There it is. So, show them the inside. Is that what you said? Oh, gosh. I might have done that before. Mm -hmm. Let me see. No, she says I haven't. So, inside my truck. <laughs> there you can see the 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 front. Um, there's the mount that the camera's usually on. I know I've done this before. I may have edited it out, I guess. I don't know. The mount the camera's usually on, my GPS, my satellite radio thing, my uh, power outlet dealy, which is always there, a monster, which is almost always there, my phone, which is pretty much always there, I have no idea what this thing is, with all these buttons here, this guy, that was there when I bought it, uh, I'm guessing that it might have had something to do with electronic logs from a previous owner or something, 
what was a company truck before, but whatever. Um, but I really have no idea. Um, that's my best guess. My headset hanging from my air horn. My hard hat. Go Hawks. Um, I keep garbage bags in there. I have, what do I have in here? Oh, my gorilla tape in here. Paper towels up there. This is probably empty, huh? Oh, no, band-aids and first aid stuff. Uh, in there. Uh, lights for oversized loads up there. I got flashlights up here. Um, this is just kind of random. I got an external speaker for the CB, but I'm not even going to worry about that till I get the CB working. Some cleaning supplies, some rain -X for my mirrors, which I haven't put on yet. Some deodorant, if whatever. My cup of noodles and stuff, I know I've showed you guys that. There's another, this is a cupboard down here, but there's nothing in it, so. Um, I've had the cooler up in there between the seats, but I moved it back here out of the way because I usually don't have anything in it. Um, yeah. Boots for if I go to a job site. Sometimes you have to have boots. Um, waters. Keep bottled waters in there. Keep tools. Random stuff's in here. I got a thing for tuning uh, antennas and whatnot. But, whatever. Um, yeah, more. A bunch of camera stuff. Like I said, this... This camera that I'm filming with is the HD Ghost, so this is the box for that camera. And I've got spare batteries and chargers, and I've got another one. This isn't the Ghost, it's a HD 720, um, which I've talked about this before, too. Um, this one only had an internal microphone, and I wanted to add an external mic, so I took the microphone out and soldered in this jack to add an external mic. But it didn't work, so... Now there's no microphone, this one picks up no sound. But it still worked great for like recording out the windshield or something, I just I never use it. Um, but I have it with me in case I decide to set something up um, with a second camera that doesn't pick up sound. Um, yeah, I got some clothes. Some sp Whoa! <laughs> Almost hit Bailey in the face. Got some spare clothes. Uh, mostly sitting down here, she's wearing the one thing that was hanging up. Got some spare socks and spare underwear up there. And my bed. There's another bed up there. There's no mattress in it. Uh, when I bought the truck, it had two mattresses in it. Um, I threw them both away. I don't know. She was just butts been in the mattresses, and I didn't. But I don't. I don't, don't know. I just threw them away. <laughs> and uh, got a new mattress for down here from the the people, the company. You know, when I bought it, gave me a new mattress. I don't. It's not comfortable. I don't know if how many truck mattresses are actually comfortable. But I found, um, like a, what is it, a fancy memory foam truck mattress in both sizes for this size and that size because they're two different sizes. Um, so down the road, I'll probably buy some nice mattresses for in here. That's the truck. When I bought it, it was... Uh, very heavily smoked in um, and for the first quite a while I mean if as soon as you started to get in it was just smelled really musty or whatever I mean now they did the detail shop which uh, the same place I just had it washed they detailed it before I bought it but I saw it as soon as they got it to detail it so I saw it before it was detailed and oh it was gross in here um, and then they detailed it, and I checked it out, and was really surprised at how nice it actually was inside after they detailed it, and outside, really. The whole truck was pretty gross when I first saw it. Um, so anyhow, um, but still, for quite a while, it was very, like, I don't, I don't smoke. I used to smoke, but I don't smoke anymore, and, uh, um, so the smell was pretty strong. So I kept those that window and that window always open uh, so there was always air circulating through and then I added those black ice air fresheners there's two there and two there um, I added those first I added one to each side and then after a few weeks um, when I couldn't smell those when I first put them in they were pretty strong and so that would be the first thing I smelled when I got in um, as they started to wear down I would smell the mustiness again so I uh, added two more and that kind of took over. 
And then also at first, every now and then, when I would stop, I have uh, Lysol or Febreze up there. I think I have Febreze and Lysol up there. Um, but I'd just spray all the fabric in here. I would just spray the crap out of it with Febreze or Lysol or something just to try to get anything to cover up that that smoky smell. So I don't notice it so bad anymore either. I'm just used to it or the smoky smell is getting better. It used to be like I'd come home from work and like take my jacket off and um, and yeah, my wife would be like, get that out of my house. It smells like smoke. And, you know, just from being in the truck, I would come home smelling like smoke. And uh, that might still happen. I'm probably just used to it, so I don't notice it as much. But um, I don't notice the, the smoky smell anymore. I know a lot of people say you can never get rid of that smell. But I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can't. I don't know. I don't notice it, though. So um, now it's just messy because I don't know. I work in here every day, and it's such a small space that, you know, like, I don't know how, I, I mean, I guess I do, I watch, like, a lot of the Jane and John videos, and I can't imagine living in this space, two people, now, it's much better, I suppose, if you're married, it's like, you know, me and my wife, versus me and a, another fat dude, <laughs> but there's just so little space, and you know, from watching, like, like, they have the same truck that I do, I think theirs is a few years newer, but it's a Cascadia, it's the same, the, the cupboards are the same, the beds are the same, like, everything's the same, um, and watching the videos, it looks like they have a lot more room than is actually in this truck, um, like I said, they have the same truck that I have. It's no bigger than this. Um, it's just hard to imagine. Like, you know, when I spend the night in the truck, there's curtains. You can see the curtain rack right there. There's curtains that close right here. So it's cut off right here. So all that you have is this is your living space, you know, basically looking over my shoulder. It's, it's tiny. Now, they have this folded down. Oh, here, hold this for oh, I never fold it down. Maybe I gotta get up there. There we go. And they store a lot of their stuff up here. What are you pointing at? The ceiling? <laughs> they store a lot of their stuff, you know, up up here, which gets a lot of stuff out of there. Like, ooh, I can feel the heat from the bunk heater. Nice. <laughs> um, and so, I don't know. That probably helps them a lot. But I can't imagine living in this, like, months at a time. I go home pretty much every night. So I don't have to bring much with me. I mean... As, as I've just showed you, I don't really have much in here, because I don't need much. Um, the occasional time I have to spend a night or two out, oh, what else do I need? I mean, I'll bring some more clothes when I'm going to, if I know I'm going to spend the night out, I'll bring my laptop and some more clothes. That's really about it. And extra monsters. And extra monsters, yeah. <laughs> yep. Which I used to just keep this thing full of Gatorades and Monsters and whatnot, the cooler, so I always just had that stuff, but um, I don't spend enough time out to need to keep all that in here. It's really what it does, the reason I've kind of stopped, and it's, it would be fine with the Gatorades, but with the Monsters, it'd probably be the same with soda, I don't know, but the truck shakes around so much, like, just from driving, it's always rattling and bouncing and bumping, and um, it seems like it changes the flavor of the Monsters from being constantly shook up before you open it. Um, they're not shook up to the point where it explodes out of the can when I open them, but um, as an example, when I had my my office job, um, I would take a monster with me every morning, and I would open it when I got to work, and it would sit on my desk, and I would just sip on it throughout the day. 
by the end of the day, when I was going to leave at 3 or 3.30 or whatever, there was always a bit left that I would just chug it, finish it, and, you know, throw the can away. Um, and it pretty much tasted the same throughout the entire day. It just wouldn't be cold, obviously, by the end of the day. In a truck, once I open a can and I'm driving, the flavor changes of the monster within probably, sometime within the first hour, just because it's sitting there, just shaking around the whole time, driving down the road, it's shaking and shaking, you know, it's, I don't know what it's doing, but it's, it, it changes the flavor, it's different, um, so as far as driving, like, monsters, I don't drink them because they're an energy drink, they don't give me any energy or anything, I, I just like the flavor, I drank them, started drinking them years ago because, I don't know. It was not long after I quit smoking, I think. Like when I was a smoker, and you're driving, if, you know, you start feeling tired or anything, you have another cigarette, right? And that would help keep you awake. It gets your heart rate up, whatever. Um, I quit smoking, and so I was doing other things to keep myself occupied or keep myself from getting tired. So I was, like, chewing sunflower seeds. I started, like, I would go get a monster or something like that, you know. Um, I tried Red Bulls, tried a few different things to find something to give me energy or whatever and I really I just started liking the taste of the monsters um, or they're uh, addicting because of the caffeine I've never really big, been a big caffeine drinker I don't drink coffee I've never been a huge fan of soda the soda that I would drink is root beer which doesn't have caffeine I don't think uh, so uh, maybe it's the caffeine maybe I'm just addicted to caffeine now I don't know but uh it's not for the energy, it's for the taste. Well, that's kind of ruined when, you know, you're driving down the road because they're, like I said, the taste changes. So I like the taste when I first open them. They're nice and cold and just opened. But, at least as far as driving, I don't, they're not very good after, you know, being open and sitting here for a little while. At home on the weekends, it's different because it's not getting shook the whole time. So they still taste fine. Um, but, anyhow, I don't remember. Anything to add? Okay, she has nothing to add.